Companies can use chatbots to connect with their audiences in a way that is instantaneous and personalized without reducing automation. Imagine getting user input in real time. Many people associate intelligent chatbots with artificial intelligence, but AI isn't necessary for creating a smart, functional bot. Bots can be classified into three main types. Natural language processing chatbots, rule-based bots, conversational apps. Using Landbot, you can easily create a chatbot from scratch. The key to, is to optimize the conversational blocks of your choice. A chatbot is an easy to use chat that is very intuitive. It integrates with a variety of applications such as MailChimp and WhatsApp for business. And today we will make a simple chat with that will use some of the features. We will use Rebel to send an email and maybe do, it, do a little survey. Once you get to landbot.io, just click get started and enter your email address in the chat bar and add a simple password. Landbot is famous for many things, including its super intuitive interface and in innovative UI elements that take chatbots to a whole new level. In addition, we are constantly working to make our chatbot builder the best lead generation qualification and data processing tool on the market. It is best to start with personalizing the welcome message which can contain text messages, images, GIFs, videos, files, and buttons. Real-time personalization is key to creating any basic interactive chatbot. It would be a shame not to utilize the right way. For example, by asking the user's name. The canvas will look like this, and what you will do is that you will first comment on it, and that's the welcome message you should use. You can preview it here. This is actual chatbot, and you can see that it's a detective here. Now go to the higher level and add the next component. You just drag the next component from the default. Now click send message to the user. The media can be added again. We will click the media and we will click on the pen and then we will click again. You can take this one maybe in a chat, but in a ser uh, serious chat, they're actually quite laid back. So let's drag it, drag in a new block. Here you will scroll down and see questions. This is just a text file that you can edit and you can see here that you can save it in a variable which by default is text. However, you will use video instead and we will click create. Now that you have created a string variable, it's called preview and click save changes. It is important to note that Landbot Builder offers a wide range of question types which are pre-formatted for the data they're supposed to collect, making setup faster the buttons block works the same as the welcome or uh, welcome block message block another key to creating a chatbot that will make your life easier is integration you can divide the bot speech into various bubbles to or present the user with visual media before presenting the button option we now have the most important piece of data so we want to import it into the bot and export it to our database using google sheets to create a powerful virtual assistant these types of integrations are essential to accomplish this. You need to create a spreadsheet in your Google Drive. First, you need to connect your Google Drive with Landbot. A button block hides another critical feature, which is multiple choice for times when a single option just won't do. You wanted to know what type of content a new subscriber enjoyed most in our magazine subscription bot. It also has some templates, including design templates, that allow you to choose a theme from already created attractive land bot templates. These are useful when you need to get your bot out into the world relatively quickly. Colors, colors and background let you choose the color scheme of your bot, so this is where you will customize it, logo and avatar. You can modify the text and logo that appear in the header of the chat, as well as the avatar of the bot. You can customize the font of your bot here, especially if your brand uses a particular font advanced well. If you know a bit of CSS or have a programmer on board, this is the space that lets you make the most significant changes. Your creativity are the only limitations. For instance, LED, for instance Landbot lets you build and create several bots in a very short time and at a relatively low cost. Its intuitive interface allows you to master even coder skills like integrating webhooks, even though there are many platforms available.
few provide an intuitive interface that works on multiple channels such as the web as well as messaging platforms like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. Because of this, Landbot introduced its chatbot integration with Segment. A Segment is a popular data-focused MarTech tool available on the market. At Landbot, we not only admire it, but we also use it ourselves. In its simplest form, the Segment collects data from your website and mobile apps and provides a solid data toolkit for all departments within your organization. Data such as customer personas, online behavior, and events are sent to segment and the tool cleans them up and sends them to the tools you use so your team can view and understand the data easily. This kind of insight into your bot is possible with Landbot seg segment integration. Landbot offers a variety of integrations such as Airtable, MailChimp, Facebook, Pixel, Salesforce, Slack, etc. Using a single segment block connected data can be exported to multiple software destinations in real time. To grow your business, data processing must be fast and accurate. With segment, you can easily collect and distribute chatbot data. Before, you had to insert multiple blocks to export data to your CRM, email marketing tool, or analytics software. With segments, you can do it faster with that single integration inside your flow. Also, segment has been in the market for a while and has quite an extensive catalog of connecting tools. By, segment, by using segment, you can connect to tools that do not yet have native integration with Landbot without using Landbot's webhook block. Now we can easily send data to the tools you love in real time while protecting data integrity. When the intent is correctly identified, the bot returns a green output. Well, while when the intent is correctly identified, the assistant returns a yellow output if the intent is correctly identified but requires the user to provide one or more required enti entities. The assistant returns a pink output when the agent fails to identify the intent. Draw an arrow from each output and select the question text block and insert whatever variable you choose to represent the DF agent's responses. Instead of a static question, save the user answer under the same variable as before. Save the changes and loop the block back to dialog flow. The bot correctly. So this concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it and please click the like button if you did. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you can view more video tutorials like this one. Include them in the comments area below. Additionally, you can let us know in the video description or on our form what subjects you would like to see videos on you can contact us anytime in the meantime thank you for your service adios